everyone in the last video we installed our vbond um so you can see i'm in vmanage we have our vbond and vmanage in there so now what we're gonna do is install our vsmart now things are gonna start to look a little repetitive um <laughs> you go to the gns3 marketplace you find the the vsmart you install it i don't think i need to go over this again um so we're gonna add the appliance here uh, what we're going to do is Ethernet zero is going to be management. Um, sorry, Ethernet one is going to be, of course, the rest of our network. And I'll go ahead and start the appliance. Um, it doesn't look amazing, but that's all right. Just want to make sure we can all read this. Okay, so let's console in to the vSmart as it boots. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly pause the video and wait till we get our system ready prompt. And we're back. Now you can see on the screen, there is a difference between getting the login and getting system ready. So now that we have system ready, Go admin, admin, I'll have you set a password. All right, now we're in the vSmart. Smart. We have to do the same skinny config that we've been doing. So we go into config system. We're gonna call this one vSmart1. System IP is gonna be 1.1.1.2. Org name. Here, clock, time zone, here, and I gotta set the VBOND. Okay. So again, what we need to do is go to VPN zero, no interface eat zero, because we're using that for VPN 512, eat one. Set the IP address. Tunnel interface. So, I mean, if you watch both of the um, VBond and VManage videos, you'll see that this is a very repetitive process. One, I mean, you know, between the three of them, luckily you only have to do this once. Um, so it seems like a lot of setup at the beginning. It seems like we're kind of all doing the same thing. Um, oh, I need the default route. What the fuck with the word route in there? Uh, 109.1.254. Okay. VPN 512. ETH 1. 10.0.80. Dot. Uh, we're going to do 12, 24, and no shut, commit, and quit. Um, VPN zero, values are not unique. Oh. <laughs> no and ETH one. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So now we can go back into vManage and add controller. And this time we're gonna add the vSmart. We set this one to 199.1.1.2, username and password. And again, make sure to generate the CSR. All right, so now that that's added in there, we will view the CSR, uh, sorry, vSmart. Actually, if we go to certificates first, that's my fault. Controllers, we can see no certificate installed for the vSmart. So we'll view CSR. OK. 
copy this thing here. Go to the vManage shell. And we're going to do the same exact thing we just did for the vBond. So, going to be vsmart.csr. Copy that whole thing in there. All right. And then now you can see we have our vSmart CSR file. And what we're going to do is we're going to sign the CSR with the root CA certificate. Um, here's a long command. I'll put it in the description below, just like I did with the other two videos. But what we basically did is we took the CSR file, signed it with root CA.bm, root CA.key created a vsmart.crt file. So what we now need to do is cat the vsmart.crt file. And copy it. Let's go ahead and go to install certificate, back in vmanage, paste. Let's install it. Right, it'll take a few moments. And now we should be good to go. So we can go to our devices, controllers. We have all three of our controllers. The V smart looks like it's still coming up, but it is installed. Um, okay. Let's go to the VBond and we'll show orchestrator connections. Uh, looks like it's still coming up. I'm going to give it a moment. So I'm just going to pause the video and just wait until we have it up. All right. So the video is on pause. The VSmart is up. Uh, just to tell you guys what happened, I um, realized that. I forgot to no shut the tunnel interface. So if we do a show run, there's a difference between no shutting the actual interface and then doing a no shot on the tunnel interface. Um, so I forgot to no shut it. And I was waiting and waiting and it wasn't coming up. Um, but now it's up. So now we can see that our controllers, all three of them are up in vManage. So now that our controllers are up, we can actually start to do some of the fun stuff with SD-WAN. Um, so I'll see you on the next video where we're going to upload our WAN edge list.